everyone, so today I am filming my, ap no, March favorites, it's April 2nd, right, 3rd? It's April 3rd right now. Um, this is a combination of my favorites since my last favorites, which was January favorites. So this is my March and February favorites, so February and March, and the first three days of April. Uh, to start off, I've really been liking this e.l.f. angled foundation brush. I don't use it for foundation, I use it to contour. This is great because it really gives you that like line that you need to contour, and yeah, it just gets the job done. Um, Three dollars, Elf Studio Online. Yep, it's also really good for your jawbone. What I've been using to contour with and do my eyebrows with has been my Elf eyebrow kit. Can't open it for you because it's completely shattered. In dark. Contour powder, I really think it would work on most skin tones because I don't have the darkest of skin. And it works well on my light skin. So, yeah. If you guys want to check that out, it is $3 as well on the e.l.f. website. Gotta love the studio collection, I tell you. My next favorite is my Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer. I use this not on my whole face like I used to. Um, lately I've been dabbing it. I should be doing it underneath my foundation because I mean it will prime, but I've just been putting it on top. I'll just kind of put it here after I've done my foundation or tinted moisturizer, what I decide to do for the day. But it's a really nice subtle highlight. It's not glittery or really shimmery by any means. It's an ethereal glow. So if you guys like the kind of a product, I really recommend this. Um, apparently there is a L'Oreal, um, dupe for it. No idea what it is. If I find it, I'll link it below. But it seems to be similar to this. This next favorite's kind of weird because it's deodorant, but I just got this at BJ's in like a five pack. It smells amazing. I'm not going to smell it in front of you because that would be really weird. But it is pomegranates and lemon vermilion. Verbena? 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 It smells amazing. And I already used to love the um, cucumber version of this, and then I had the body spray that went with it. Now I need to get the body spray of this because they, you know, they both smell good. And it's a really good summer kind of thing. But it does the job that deodorant needs to do besides just smelling good. My next favorites are all from L'Oreal, and it is their Total Repair 5 line. Amazing. These are amazing products. And they're all really affordable. This was like five dollars. This is about five. And this is four or five. All affordable. And I just mentioned all of them in the hair care video I just filmed. And they have all gone into my hair today. And it is soft and silky. And a little zhuzhed up, but it's the best I can do. So I use this almost every day now. Um, but it's especially great in damp hair. It really gives your hair a shine and just a light kind of, it's like a really light serum, but it's lighter than a spray, con leave-in conditioner, that's the word. Um, I don't know what this Ceramide product is, but it's in every single one of these, and I think I like it because I like how my hair looks. Uh, but it smells, it smells so good too, it smells like a salon and the lotion they used when I used to get manicures when I was way younger. I can't afford that now. Oh, my nails. Ugh. I'm not gonna apologize for them though. The conditioner is also wonderful. Um, now, it claims to repair um, a year of damage in one use. No, I, no. I've used this at least three times now and three years of damage has not suddenly vanished from my hair. Um, does it do a good job deep conditioning? Absolutely, but it's no miracle product, and same for this. It is wonderful, but it obviously is not going to make my hair perfect and thick and never been damaged. Nothing can do that. So if you guys like conditioners, deep conditioners, give these a shot. Down to the last hair favorite. This is my Suave Professional Salon Proven Dry Shampoo. 
this is just great, and I've recommended it to a few people, and they've liked it. I was worried I wouldn't have enough favorites, so I just threw it in here, because it is a favorite. I don't know if it was my January favorites, but if it was, it's still a favorite. And I like that the bottle is always cold. That's kind of, that's kind of nice. So, my last favorite is a food favorite. These were, um, like, no more than $4 at BJ's, and you get a lot of them. I don't know how many you get, but they're gluten-free, oven-baked, kosher, vegan, and natural. They are from 180 Snacks. They have a website. Maybe I'll link it below. And here's what they are. You see that little delicious little nugget? It is almonds. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to read you the description. Take... Treat your bud. <laughs> Treat your taste buds to this all-natural snack packed with wholesome popped rice, crunchy baked almonds, and sweet dried blueberries. Adjust your snackitude. Ooh, I just read their other flavors and I totally want them. So. These are really good, and they've got protein in them, and apparently they have a cranberry flavor, which I need to try because I love cranberries, and a pineapple mango. So these are wonderful. The only thing is you might get them in your teeth, the blueberries. I really want to get the other flavors of them, and if you have a membership to BJ's, or you have a friend that goes there, or Costco, ask them to get you these because they are amazing and they're they're healthy that's great too although it's really sad i ate um a little debbie deliciousness chocolate thing before i filmed this i should have eaten healthy snacks but i'm eating them now so that's something for tv shows um game of thrones is back thank god but I'm not gonna lie the finale the opener of the season premiere boring as can be absolutely boring oh and I started watching Walking Dead I got two episodes into the first season and I had nightmares it's not that I can't handle gory shows because Sons of Anarchy and Game of Thrones are my favorite TV shows and they stab babies in them so I can take it it's just like the psychological fear gave me nightmares so I don't know how I feel about that but Walking Dead I'm going to become a Walking Dead fan because I just know that's my kind of personality. I get obsessed with TV shows. Uh, so for books, I've been loving this one book called Exodus. I can't remember the author's name and I don't feel like going up to go get it. But um, one of my professors gave it to me to read about Bob Marley and it's a great book. Um, so if you're a fan of him or his music or just want to know more about the um, time period, kind of, and that cultural situation going on in Jamaica, I would check it out. Um, I'll have it below. And um, I'm trying to think of other favorites. I really wasn't prepared to do this, but I thought I would include it because I like seeing everyone else's. For TV shows, I mentioned Game of Thrones, Sons of Anarchy. If you haven't seen that, watch it. It is on Netflix. Watch that show. It is my favorite show ever. So that has been my March favorites. I hope you guys liked this video. I realized it was a bit rambly, and that's just, it's the time of the day it is, I swear. It's like 3, 4 o'clock, kind of, and, um, yeah, I'm missing Ellen to film this. That's okay, though. Um, so, I hope you guys liked this video. I want to see some of your favorites. List, um, either your beauty favorites, your hair favorites, your television favorites, and, yeah. So, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, and that's it. Bye! I'm getting crazy, aren't I? That noise really scares me at night when I drink this. Sounds like me with an asthma attack. Screaming bottles. <laughs>
scares my cat too.